Virgo. Virgo, welcome. Let's look at a general read for the, okay, for the collective. Keep in mind, it's a general. And as I'm looking at this, the cards that appear in your current energy, the Seven of Cups, the Fool, the Ten of Coins, the Page of Coins, and the King of Swords. There can be confusion as to which direction you should start in, where you should go, what you should do. There is a learning curve that's happening. There's you're learning your wants, the things that you need, things you desire, separating those out. Ten of coins, wanting that stability and really, really looking towards the future. But with the king of swords here, I see that there may be some schooling that's required in order to achieve the goals that you are looking at. That or you need to really put down a step-by-step -step plan. A step-by-step -step plan that allows you, okay, I'm hearing the word budget. For some of you, this is, this is the message, it's budget. Learn how to budget, learn how to work through it. And I'm sure there's many YouTube videos on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not only that, but there's much that you can learn uh, around anything you desire. We have technology now that doesn't mean you have to go to the library anymore and look at the Encyclopedia Britannica back in my day uh, before the internet to learn anything. Now, when we're looking to the desire, we have the Page of Cups. This is to start in a direction that really, really fills you. For others of you, this is a with judgment, justice, and the five of coins here, you want somebody to get their just desserts. This feels very much like, so we have a couple of storylines that are going here. One is around that security, the money, the learning, all of those types of things. The desire is to have somebody come back around, make an apology for how they made you feel, and so that they can get their sort of just desserts. Now, when we go into the outcome, Virgo, this is really nice because we have the world, temperance, three of cups, and six of wands. So you get what you want in the end. This person seems to come back around. They've learned something. They're not coming around possibly as a page anymore. They've come up a little bit with the six of wands, and there's a bit of a reunion that may take place now. When we go into what is working for you in this whole situation, we see the sun. Everything's kind of hunky-dunky, especially when it comes to your dreams. So this is really interesting given that the current energy is one of having to learn. So what this says to me is that you're starting to move in a direction that is creating that learning. Whether this is a learning around a relationship um, or business money, whatever this learning is, it benefits you greatly. The Nine of Cups, it helps you manifest your dreams. The Emperor, this helps, the ambition helps create pathways for you. Those pathways also allow the Four of Wands. So the building of house and home. The thing that you need to be aware of is the queen of wands, followed by the four of cups, king of cups, and the nine of wands. Be careful of being busy for the sake of being busy. You know, it may not be a good thing after all with the four of cups here. Sure, you may be popular and everything else like that, and it feels good, but is it getting where you want to go? You need to master your emotions around this because you're not quite done yet with the Nine of Wands here. We don't haven't reached the Ten. So there are things that you may be wounded, and it feels good in the meantime to be out and about. 
Now, we have the Lovers, the Death card, and the Chariot. These three cards have been showing up a lot for different signs lately. So with the Lovers, this could just be a choice. This is not a this is not an easy choice, but it is a choice nonetheless. This choice brings about change, and that can be frightening on its own. But once you make that choice and you head forward, yes, it does make strength, take strength, but it also makes you stronger. Once you decide what you want and you start to go for it, it allows more things to start coming in for you. Now, if this is related to love, you may change your focus. You know, so this Queen of Wands may change her focus and go, you know what, let's go into this Empress mode. Because the Empress is the Queen of all Queens. So, that's what I have for you today. Best of luck this week. We'll see you next time. Stay safe.